good day everyone it's zolani again i just want to to make a forex crypto intro presentation i strongly believe that it will assist those people who want to start to learn forex crypto trading so firstly you need to understand the basics about forex and crypto when you talk about forex um, is a shortcut of a foreign and exchange which means they, they took for from foreign and ex from exchange is the exchange market for currencies and then the cryptocurrency cryptocurrency is a digital global currency produced through a process called uh, mining backed by technology called the blockchain the first crypto created was bitcoin in 2009 with a value of approximately about 140 and today bitcoin value is about 600,000 equine one and when you talk about the forex crypto market is the world largest leading market with a total approximately it's 5.3 trillion us dollars traded every day so how does forex crypto works in forex crypto trading you buy or sell a currency with another currency and make profit so this is an example uh, forex crypto trading is simple like this market you buy fruits and vegetables in the market for 28 rand i will make an example not um or two us dollars and go to the street and sell them with about 10 rand or 140 congratulations your profit is eight us dollars which is 112 rand so we've got these um alphabets w w h w before you start trading you must answer these four questions what to trade where to trade how to trade and when to trade the analysis said 90 percent of new traders lost 90 percent of their funds in the first 90 days of their trading uh, why are they going through so much loss? It is because they trade without knowledge and understanding. So in trading, you must learn and know how the market works. You must know about e crypto. You must know about e forex. You must know about e market as a whole. Forex crypto trading is a business, not a lotto or a casino. When I say it's not a lotto or a casino, inklantla I say means you do not use inklantla lam. Before you start to trade in forex or crypto market, it is vital to know that forex crypto trading have risk, but that risk is manageable. You can manage that risk by learning and obeying the rules. There are rules where, which you need to, 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 to obey them. If you do not obey the rules, definitely you will be a victim of losing now and again in the Forex market. Take Forex crypto trading like other businesses, not like a lot or a casino. Gege uze uye njelapayam, kuigwe market, but no, I will just go and the trading is open and clan. No, there are things that you need to, 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 to analyze. You need to analyze the market. You need to check the trend. All those things. There are a lot of things that you need to do before you even open a position or before you execute the trade. Trading needs skills, planning, patience, strategy, and confidence. You must have a skill. You must plan. You need to be patient, have a strategy, and we must be confident. 
Do not allow your emotions and greed to rule you. You, you must not enter the, the, the forex crypto market with the greed or by the emotions. But okay, since Abanyabantu, they make about 1 million per day. Now I want to do the same. No, you can't do that. You need to be patient and you, you must not allow your emotions. Because it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's not a good not a good thing. It's not WWHW, what to trade. In Forex crypto market, we have five instruments that we can trade with. We've got currencies, which is our local currencies like East South African Rand, US dollar, Euro, Japanian, Canadian, Great British Pound, etc. Those are, they fall under the instrument which we call them Arma Forex. Then we've got commodities, Izimbiwa pants. The commodities, we talk about gold, the silver, platinum oil, etc. We've got index and indexes. The indexes, we've got on NASDAQ, we've got to US state and, and many more. So we also have AMA cryptocurrencies, as I, 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 I uh, define the name cryptocurrencies. We've got Bitcoin, we've got Ethereum, we've got Tether, we've got Bitcoin. Uh, in South Africa now, we've got a uh, SAF coin, uh, and there are also other coins that fall under cryptocurrencies. And then we've got Ama Synthetics. Under Synthetics, we've got Opum, we've got Ocrash, we've got OV75, V10, V25. Uh, but not all the brokers are with the Ana, you are Ama Synthetics. The preferable instrument, instrument to trade with is Forex Crypto and Amma Synthetics. If Forex is open Monday to Friday, uh, it's 24 hours. Crypto and Amma Synthetics, it's Monday to Sunday, which means you can trade 24-7, even in holidays. When it comes to Amma Crypto and Amma Synthetics, you can trade there. Where to trade? There are many Forex brokers on the internet. You have to choose the broker of your choice. And B, you must make sure that you choose the registered broker. You go to the website and on the home page, you scroll down to see the details about that broker. When we want to see whether the broker is registered, you must check that that broker is registered with the financial authorities such as Financial Sector Conduct Authority, FSCA in South Africa. If they do have FSP, then you know that you are safe to trade with that broker because some other brokers, they are not registered. If you are trading with a broker that is not registered, sometimes you can't even uh, lodge a complaint if you can't get your funds or if you've got some complaints pertaining with that broker. So I personally prefer xnessmarkets.com and Deriv. Those are the brokers that I've been trading with. Uh, I've started to trade with markets.com from 2015. In 2017, I've traded with XNES. And then uh, in the beginning of 2020, then I traded with the Reef. You will create an account with your broker. Thereafter, you will have to download a platform, which is MetaTrade. It's either you choose MetaTrade form or you choose MetaTrade 5 from a play store or you can use your desktop and then you download the app in your desktop or, or laptop so the requirements in order to to start to do trading you need to have a computer with internet access if you don't have a computer or laptop you can use a tablet or, or smartphone and then you need to have capital and money sometimes you can start with a demo account. In a demo account, you'll find that you've got virtual funds there. It depends in your broker. Sometimes they can give you 10,000 US dollars or you can um, uh, put the amount that you want to start with. 
when you download MT4 or MT5 automatically, you will see there is a, there is a default uh, amount there to, to, to trade with in, a, in your demo. So what is happening in the chat or in the platform? You will only see three movements on your chat. One, it's uptrending market. Uh, uptrending market is rising. This is where you buy if the, 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 the trend is going up. Then two, we've got the downtrend market is falling. This is where you sell. Why are you selling? When the graph is falling, the particular pay is close, it's closing value. So obviously, you, can, you can't buy something that losing a value. Number three, we've got a mutual or neutral trend. Market is rising and falling in a short period of time. In mutual uh, neutral trend, you do not buy or sell. You wait for a confirmation. This is an example of an uptrending chart, as you can see from the left to the right, that it is going up. So this is another example of a neutral and a downtrend. In the beginning, you can see from the, from the left that it was neutral. Then there in that zone where we've got the, like the first line there, you can see that it started to, to go down from that peak. And then it's going down, so it's a, a downtrend. Understanding currency, pay, and new order options. So we will talk about base currency. When you are opening an account with any broker of your choice, you will have options to choose your preferred base currency. For example, GPP, Euro, USD, ZAM. When we talk about base currency, we talk about the currency that you will use to fund your account. Uh, most people choose to trade in USD. Some they choose GPP. If you choose a pound or your deposit, you, you, if you choose a pound, your deposit uh, withdrawal and profit will be in pounds value compared to our rand. So we've got eight major currencies. These are the eight major currencies. You've got USD, Euro, JPP, Japan, Yen, CHF, New Zealand, CAT, and OAT. These are the most traded currencies in the forex market. Many investors and traders love the taste of the money these currencies have. If you really want to make more money in trading, make sure that a pair that you are trading, it has one of these currencies or you pay, or you pay made two of them. What is a pair? A pair is made of two combined currencies. These are the examples, Euro, USD, GPP, USD, USD, Japan Yen, USD, South African Rand, USD, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, USD, Data. The one on the left is worth more than the one on the right, meaning in our example, we'll use USD ZA. with about 14 Rand 90. We'll take the example with USD ZA you can get only one US dollar. If your trend is ascending, going up, currency on the left is gaining value and the one on your right, it's losing. If your trend is descending, going down, currency on the right is gaining value and the one on your left is losing. Understand the spread, the pips, lot size, the volumes. The importance of spread, the spread is the amount of pips a broker charge you for using their service to enter a trade. This is the only reason why you will find that all trades you place either by yourself will start in a negative or a loss. The broker charge you a moment you place or open a trade. Do not be confused when you see your trades starting in a loss. It's like when you hire something to make a profit. The owner normally charge you right away. They will not wait for you to make a profit first for what will happen if you do not make a profit. So you must always make sure that before you open a position, check Check the spread would see Malin because if the spread is cool when you open a position you will find what the moment you start to open the position Uzobusuni loss and goal. And if the spread is cool, you are at risk of 
losingi imali if we balance yako ingani. Then this is an example of a pair with a spread. We've got a base currency, we've got a code currency. We've got an example of GPP US dealer. So as you can see, this is a bid price on your left and then we've got a ask price on your right. Uh, we've got um, a PIP. When we talk about PIP, we will, we will, we will, do, we will, we will explain the PIPs in the, in the following uh, slide. And then we've got a spread, which means here the spread is between 3091 and 3089. So the, the pips here is only two pips, which means two movements. Understand the pips. The pips, the, 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 the name pips is coming from price in points or percentage in points. When it comes to Forex, you, you earn money according to how many steps pips markets moves from one point to another. The more pips you catch, the more money you make. This is an example. So as you can see here, we've got a 3089, 3091. So at this stage, the, 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 the gap between the bid price and ask price is only two pips. If the price is going down or if it's going up, you will see up according to these, to these, uh, the, these prices. And then we, call, we, we come to, to the lot size volumes. In Forex or crypto, we buy uh, sell in units. You do not buy sell an item. You will never buy a jewelry only under gold. But you will buy everything about gold. Imagine someone goes to Coca-Cola and say, I want to buy shares or for transportation only. That is impossible. You will have to buy stocks, employees and everything Coca-Cola owns. So la, what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say, if you say you are buying gold, you are not going to say, I want to buy rings or I want to buy um, any, any item uh, um, under gold. But when you say you buy gold, then automatically you will get the price of gold. What is gold? So the lot size, this is an example of the lot size. You can see here where I've put, uh, I've pointed with that arrow. We've got 0 0.05. If you want to reduce the lot size, you click 0 0.1, negative 0 0.1 on your left. If you want to add the lot size to increase it, you will click there by a positive 0 0.1 on your right hand side. And then if you buy or sell, if you say the price will go up, which means you will buy or you will select buy on your right. If you say the price will go down yourself, then you click who? You will click and sell. Then we've got the type of accounts and the lot size. We've got three types of uh, lot size and then accounts. We've got the micro account with a, a 0 0.01 lot size a worth a malini with 10, with 0 0.10 cent, which means that size it can give you a pp1 ignigeza or 10 cent if you've got a mini account a pp corner it's oil it's worth a million one us dollars and if you've got a standard lot size and then you've got a 1.00 size in worth a bunny or 10 us dollars so you must make sure when you open i'm a lot size you got okay this lot size if i'm opening this i'm expecting to get so much Understand candlesticks. Candlestick is the most favored and used chart in the world of forex crypto trading. Over 80% of traders worldwide prefer candlesticks chart than line or bar. There are also lines and the armor bars. In the history of forex, Japanese candlesticks believe to make it easier for traders and investors to analyze the market clear and simple. It's very simple and is also born an hour. So these are the examples of AMA candlesticks. In our left, we've got a green and in our right, we've got red. So as you can see them in green, we've got the, 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 we've got the closing price and then with opening price. When the, 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 this one, the candle of, um, of green is opening, it's opening the price. Lapa and then it's closing price which means 
you're expecting the market to go up. And Magu Pella Lili Kanlela, where Lili Kandela Lili Kandela Lili Elen. And then on this side, we've got the opening price, Pezulu, and then we've got closing price, as hands. And then we've got the low of period and the high for period. We've got weakness and the strength. And as you can see, we look at humble forex trading. We've got e, e bullish with a green color, with an arrow, a comba pezul, and then we've got e bele with an arrow, a beggar's hands, which means they're taking the price down, and then the bullish, they're taking the price up. So understand, as I was at the I will still continue the chaza. Green candlesticks are bulls, buyers indicating uptrend, also called them a bullish. Opens at the bottom and close at the top, meaning is coming from the bottom to the top. Next candle will be formed exactly at the price where the last one closed. Then when we come to the red candlesticks are bears, ama sellers indicating downtrend movement, also called the ama bearish, opens at the top and close at the bottom, meaning the value is falling from the price where last candle closed at. So this is the example where you will see both uh, candlesticks, the red and green, red and green. So we've got AMA chart time frames. We've got M1, M1 meaning each candle or bar is formed in one minute. M5 is formed in five minutes. M15 is formed in 15 minutes. M30 is formed in 30 minutes. H1 is formed in one hour. H4 is formed in four hours. D1 is formed in one day. You know, W1, one week, a month, one. Which means if you, can, if you are opening a chart, like here, this is an example here where we've got these uh, these instruments. If you are opening a, a, a trade, a chart with a, a, a time frame OM1, you will be analyzing a market according to a movement here one minute with each candle the phone one minute. Then we've got the types of traders. We have three types of traders, scalping traders using a chart time frame, one minute, five minutes, and 15 minutes, which means those people are expecting to open a position, Excel, and then it, by the day, they open, close, open, close, open, close, they uh, accumulating those small profits, uh, analyzing the market using the AMA time frame, AMA feature. And then we've got the intraday traders using chart time frame of 15 minutes to one hour. And then we've got a swing traders. Swing traders are those people who are analyzing the market for a long term. They do not focus queen we movement yama 15 minutes, but they analyze the market to go to game. As from today, we will start the September up to uh, let's say Mlambu Tati. Uh, to October in market movement they analyze a long term. Understand the support and resistance. Support is a level in a market which stops block or block market from continuing with a downtrend. It supports the market to go up and pull strain. Support is like a flow. And then we've got a resistance puzzle. It's a level in the market which resists from continuing with uptrend. It pushes the market price down which result to be a downtrend. So we will uh, get to more details about all of these things if we are doing it in, in, in basic and in advance in trading. So we've got candlestick patterns. Uh, we've got bullish uptrends, reversals for buy and bearish downtrend candlestick for sale. We've got Otto, Geo, Track and Fly, Morning Star, Hammer, Inverted Hammer, Three White Soldiers, Invest, Invest and Calfing, and many more. Well, these are the uh, the examples of patterns here. We've got a double pot, a double top, head and, and shoulders and so forth. It's a ninja, it's a ninja, it's a ninja cool. And then, as a trader, you must have a trading plan. You need to have a trading plan, as I stated here. Which currency pair are you following? Will you be trading during volatile market moves? You will focus on fundamentals or technicals. What are your trading goals? How much are you willing to risk per trade? How long will you hold your trades? Is it for a long term or it will be a short term. What time during the day are you trading? 
So the best forex trading hours, we've got London hours, we've got New York, we've got Sydney, we've got Tokyo. Because AMA is cut as fun, so you must always understand and know what if you are trading USD, Japan, yen, what time you must um, uh, wake up and analyze the market and open your trades. What time are you going to close those trades because the market is obviously valid. This is a good financial management. It is important to manage your finance and maintain your margin level. So if you do not manage your finance, definitely you will blow your accounts. Lastly, make sure that you only risk 25% of your capital. Some people, they risk about 2%, some less, some more. Always maintain your margin level above 120, 120%. If your margin level is below 100%, you are at risk to blow your account. To be safe, make sure that you do not open many positions. Don't risk all your funds in one trade, meaning trading one pair in many positions. Always check your lot size. For big size, for big lot size can put you at risk. And then know your leverage and set the leverage that will suit your strategy. I wish you all the best. Thank you.